Good afternoon, everyone. You know by now what time it is. Maybe my studio audience will help me today. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, yes, it's Take Home Tuesday time, and we are in the retreat center once again here at Hen and Chick Studio. And we have our Come Create With Me going on. So they're working away in the background, but we thought we'd come and give you a little bit of inspiration today. Now, usually we, well, not always. Wait, I digress. First of all, we have <laughs> Allie making her debut. So welcome, Allie. I, um, I know it's hard to tell, but we are related. <laughs> Nothing alike, probably. But Allison, welcome to Take Home Tuesday. Yes, now, thank Allison you. is one of our high school helpers. She has actually done some quilting herself, and she's not giving herself enough credit, but you did some long arming when you were much younger, right? Yes, yes. I did. So again, quilting, creating is for all ages. Um, and we want you to know that we hope to inspire you, whether it's for quilting or sewing or crafts, cooking, anything like that here on Take Home Tuesday. So Allie, uh, unbeknownst to her until she got here, is my volunteer to help today. So please give Allie some shout outs and welcome her. But today we're gonna be talking about how to maybe add some personalization to some of the um, gifts or projects you are making. So if Cameron, and Cameron's behind the camera today, yes. so Cameron, if you want to come on in, we're going to be using um, some products that can be called Wonder Under, um, some different fusible type things, but it's fusible on both sides. So one side has kind of a, it might be hard to see on it, but kind of like a glue texture, and the other side of it is a paper. And you're going to understand, many of you probably have used this before, but we also want to explain how to put this into process if you um, haven't done anything like this. Um, so lots of things you can do, and Cameron, if you come back up here, and you don't have to go too far back, stay in here, because we don't want you to run away from us, right? Um, so there's always ways to applique. This is kind of maybe a little cheater method, because you're actually going to glue that piece down with the Wonder Under or the Fusible underneath, and then you can stitch around the outside. So we brought a few different ideas to help today, and we're going to come back over to some of these here. So for instance, I know by now you all are surprised what team I would have. <laughs> yeah. Um, but here's one simply where I have, first of all, taken my fabric and we're gonna take you through all of these steps today on a different project. And then I put it on my, ironed it back onto my fabric and then just did a simple zigzag stitch around it to help it stay on, okay? Some just different ideas for you. And of course, the red truck is very popular. I actually made this for my dad for Christmas one year. And this one I used a blanket stitch on and then added a couple other things. You can tell it's been used and loved just a little bit. But so all things that, as we've been looking through some magazines and seeing some trends and stuff, it seems like monograms like AE for Alice and Engel would be popular on things. So that's kind of what inspired us of thinking how, as you're preparing for, whether it's Christmas, we've been, we've been talking a little bit about graduations, right. some different things like that, of, of ways that maybe you can bring some personalization or just fun. And we all probably have some scraps we can use. So let's talk about the process of doing this. If you hadn't joined us before, we're going back to some of the other things. So we're taking um, a previous episode, we used a jean pocket to make a magnet hanger on. So we're taking this and we're gonna continue now on with personalizing it. So again, now Cameron, you're gonna to have to come in a little bit closer here um, and you can stay on me and the thing at the same time, not always just showing the beautiful black pocket, okay? So when I'm looking at creating something, I like to use my computer um, Allison, do you use a computer a lot? If you're, yes, yeah. very much. You're probably tired of computer stuff, but sometimes scaling something can be the challenge. So what we did today was we took a very simple K and a star, and then we just wanted to find the right scale for it to fit on the pocket. So you can see I just went ahead and printed it out to make sure, and I think it's a pretty good scale for the pocket of what I'm using. Now, would this size work if I was doing it on a giant pillow? No, probably not, right? <laughs> so I printed it out to make sure it was there. So a couple things now. I've gone ahead and cut out a K and I have my star. I wanna show you two different options because we need to transfer this to our fusible. And so we want it with the paper side 
up and the glue side down. Now, one thing, if I trace it like this, I actually have to do it reverse tracing. So when I take it over, then it will glue on correctly, okay? A couple things I can do. I could either take my fabric that I wanna use and press this on to the wrong side, take my K and trace around it. Then I would know what to cut out. Another option I would do if I was going to use two different things, I could actually, and I'm gonna show you with this one. This is gonna be my star and this is gonna be my K. Now, Allison, you're gonna jump in and ask questions as if you have no clue what we're doing because you probably have no clue what yes. we're doing. So, no, that's good. Okay, <laughs> so I could also take my shape and put it under my fusible. And if you have a light box or a nice sunny day, you could always go take it up there. And so can you come in here a little bit, Allison, so you can peek into this? So here I'm just tracing it before I fuse this onto the fabric that I'm going to be using. Now you, I'm using a permanent marker so the lines show up very well for you, but you wouldn't have to. So all I've done here is I've taken the fusible with the paper, so this is my fusing side, set it on top of my shape. Now what? So that's one way to do it. Now, if you're like me and you like to conserve a lot of fabric and get them most to fit, you may not want to do it that way. So if I, let's say I was making a whole bunch of things and I wanted to reshape it and I had taken a piece, there's my K. So one thing you just have to remember, if you're not tracing it, I could put, same thing, I could put my K under the fabric and trace it that way. Or, let me show you just a couple different ways or methods here. It's just up to you. If this was already on my fabric, so again, we're putting that glue side down onto the wrong side of the fabric. I'm gonna grab an iron from over here and getting that fused on nicely. And I'm sure there's probably a suggested amount of time to hold it down. Not really sure, actually, that one turned off. Let's see if any of these are on warm. Okay, so I'm, that one doesn't have the shape traced on. This one already has the shape traced on. Let me get to an open spot here so you can see. So if I was to do it here, what am I doing wrong? What side of the fabric am it's I on putting on? the right on? side of the fabric. Right, <laughs> which my glue would end up on that side then. Yes. So I need to always make sure I'm on the, the wrong side. side. You can go to the wrong side, only with fabric, Allison, <laughs> only with fabric. Okay, so this one has the shape traced on. Just giving that a nice little press on there. Now this one, I've already decided to, for whatever reason, have the fusible on there. So this one now, I need to reverse my design. And then I'm going to come in and trace it. So again, reverse my design. I printed this on my computer. Of course, you could freehand it or whatever you wanted to, but I like to always lay it out before I start anything to make sure it's all gonna fit together, the scale is appropriate. And this is just regular printer paper. So I'm just tracing around my letter, and I know it's kind of hard to see on the, or on the, there we go. I got that side. Oops. Okay, so now I have it backwards or the wrong way, whichever flipped on that. So now I'm gonna come back in and cut what I'm preparing to fuse. So Allison, it could literally be any shape, letter, multiple colors if you want. As you can see, we're doing that with this. So we're just gonna come back in. We should have brought up another pair of scissors. So I'm as I get this one cut out, then you're gonna start cutting the K out, okay? And I'm simply just cutting this out close to the lines. The 
nice thing about this is that you have that paper that you can trace on. So you work on cutting that, starting to cut that one out, okay? So now I've taken the star and I have it on my fabric and it's reversed. So the next thing I need to do is transfer this to the pocket. And the trickiest part is getting a piece of paper to start on the corner. Or do you score it down the middle? You could. A pin? You could if you had a pin handy, but since I don't. Actually, I think there's one sitting. Sometimes at home, oh my gosh, and my nails are really short. Sometimes at home, I actually just, if you fold it a few times, you kind of go like that, then it comes off too. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this off. So now I have, and you can kind of see it's a little bit shiny now. That glue has transferred. Can you see the sheen on there at all? Mm -hmm, sure can. The glue side is transferred, so I no longer have the paper. Okay, on this particular project, I am not going to stitch over the top of this at all because then I'd be stitching through the pocket. Is this supposed to be more stuck on here? The fabric's kind of slipping away from me. Well, here, let's mm -hmm. just give you another iron. Okay, so then I'm going to come back through. I grab the wrong iron that's not on. That's live, folks, live. <laughs> um, some, another project, such as the pillows, or this one, I have to share this story. Let's talk about what that's pressing on. This pillowcase over here is one I probably made. 20 years ago um, and it happens to be my daughter but I made him for all her friends so Samantha who also used to work here with us is watching she has one too this particular one I, it's very well lived and worn as you can see but I would stitch around each one of these individually and layer it at a time and you can see the same thing on any of them um, so you would layer them as you went um, and zigzag around the edges because I'm not worried about going through a layer, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Are we yes, explaining it does. that well? Um, you can use, uh, any sewing machine has a simple zigzag you can use. You could use, if you didn't want to stitch it all, the puff paint or um, in the little tube, you can go around edges with those if you wanted to do something like that as well. A blanket stitch is another option that you could have. And so now I've come in and I've fused on my star. So again, why I can't stitch on this project is because if I went around it, I would stitch through both layers. And this is a pocket I want to have stay in there. So this one is just gonna stay, it probably isn't gonna be washed or anything, so it's okay to be like that. All right, and so Allison's still working on the K, we'll see where we get to that. But I wanna show you a few different ideas. Again, if you have any questions with how this works, we are happy to help you. Uh, give us a call here at Hen and Chick Studio, send us an email, but also let us know what ideas that you might have. This is meant to inspire you in some ways that you might not have thought of to do some things. We also have a free downloadable pattern on our website. It is called Travelin, with the N, with the little apostrophe thing, Travelin Totes. This one happens to have... <laughs> Uh, a wine bottle actually in it ready to go. This pattern has five different sizes, but um, super easy. Again, if I wanted to personalize this, I could do the same thing and I could come back in, pick a fabric that was coordinating, put initials on it, put a shape on it, anything like that to um, personalize this before I gave it to somebody, especially if I was gifting it to somebody. Same thing can be said even with a paper bag. Maybe you haven't even thought, if you wanted to make your own um, Christmas bags or birthday bags or graduation bags or anything like that. Same thing can happen and I brought some, now Heidi's gonna not like these, but <laughs> <laughs> if you, this is not Heidi's favorite character, but I was starting making, see if anybody has a guess what they are yet. I'm doing it upside down here. Just gotta turn it that way. <laughs> so again, I would start layering it. So I'd fuse on my feet first, then my body, my beard, and my hat. You can kind of start to see it, right? So then I could quickly make cute little gifting bags out of scrap fabrics that I have at home. 
And I could do an A for Allison and an E for Evan. <laughs> I mean, you could make it very personalized as, that, as you're going through it and such. All right, so Allison has our K cut out, so let's finish this project. So what we would do, same thing here. We're gonna come back in. Let's see if I can find, there happens to be a little pin laying over here. Let's see if we can get a little piece of paper going here. And if somebody else, my nails are usually longer and they're short right now. Oh my goodness. I'm having a hard time with this. There we go. There you go. Okay. Yeah, it's coming. <coughs> Has anybody else ever made anything like with this Wonder Under or Fusible Fleet or Fusible? Usables. What's this one called? Heidi can't even think off the top of my head right now. I think you've got Transweb yes. there. So there's different. We varieties. have two kinds of uh, fusible Transweb and Soft Fuse. Okay, so here, now I'm going to bring in the K that Allison has trimmed, place it wherever I feel like it needs to be nicely on there, and then I'm going to come back in and just give it a nice press down. So Allison, would this be something simple enough that you feel like you could accomplish? Oh yeah, yeah. good Christmas gift for the friends, family. Homemade and gifts are the best. Homemade gifts are the best, <laughs> you're right. And kind of fun too. Plus, yeah. it doesn't, if you're creative with it, we know a lot of people, especially it seems like around your age now, are really into the thrifting of things yeah. and items. Oh, yeah. Going to a thrift store and finding something like the, Okay, I'm, I'm dating myself, but you know, Heidi can relate to this. It's all coming back, but you know, those denim long shirts that you wore over leggings, put some little personalization irons on yeah. down there, that's all come back. So there you go, real quick project. This was, for, you can go back and see we added magnets to the back of this to hang in a locker or on a refrigerator that you can put your pen in. So we hope that today has inspired you to be creative, maybe in a different way than you thought of before. Until next Tuesday, we hope you have a great time being creative and remember, choose happy.